Yo, 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 what's going on everyone? It's TK and today we're going to see what to do with these medals in that trader shop. So let's dive in and see this video. Alright, here we are on this base, of course, of mine, and we're going to go to the trader shop and we have the event deals. Now, of course, you can see I already bought everything except the shiny ore because we have a lot of them, of course, in the game. So you don't necessarily need to invest your medals on them. That would be the last thing I would recommend you to buy. But this is a different type of video than we usually do. I usually do it on every event. So I can tell you as a free to play player. And also as a player who maybe spends a few, you know, dollars on the game, what to do and what to go for. So let's move on to an account that I have, which doesn't have all these really like sold out options in your face. Okay, let's move on. What I would recommend you to buy if you are a free to play player and you do not have the gold or well, the battle pass or however you want to call it, the event pass, I'm going to call it. Okay, it's the event pass, the name. All right, I finally realized it. If you don't have the event pass, you are basically going to only get around 4,000 of these medals, which means you can technically buy a few things with it. One thing is for sure is that are you dependable on the magic mirror? Are you liking it with the strategies that I brought? Do you really see the benefit of it? If not, you can easily go ahead and grab some starry ore for yourself and some glow ore. This will help you to upgrade your other regular equipment, which you may not have unlocked or upgraded. So these equipments like the healing tone, something like the hog puppet and the haste while back then, something like the healer puppet, which we can use on multiple strategies or the rage while and the gauntlet of the king. Things that are mattering to your strategy. The mirror is an extra. You can put it on any strategy really. And it's basically a flex if you have it on a really high level. And if you have it on low level, it's not really going to help your attack strategy that much. So as a free to play player, you will have probably a lot of gems because you're spending, you know, not anything maybe in like for example the one gem donations that sometimes taking a lot of your gems so you're cooking troops and stuff if you're that type of person you can always buy the magic mirror later when it comes to the shop in two months that's what you can do with 1500 gems but is it what i really would recommend well not really. I would tell you just go ahead and purchase any equipment that always comes to the store. But I don't know your account. As I said, if your account has low level equipments, please do not buy this magic mirror because it will come back anyway. It's not going to affect your gameplay. You can already get all the triples you want with the most broken strategy in the game. And you can, of course, get all the triples you want in War and CWL without having the magic mirror. There is going to be no difference from now until two months later. And in two months, you can always grab 1,500 gems from both Builder Base and also, wait, I went to Clan Capital, Builder Base and also, also, of course, all the things that come up on your whole village. So you can do that and get those gems, but make sure you buy the ores. Now, moving on, if you have the event pass, that's something useful because you can get a lot more than just 4,000 medals. You know, you can easily buy a few decoration if you're that type of person. I personally, I love decoration. I, I already bought everything from this decoration. And also, of course, you get an extra, this wizard right here. So you get a lot of decoration per event. So that's good. It can show that your base is kind of you know decorated and you are into those kind of stuff in a few years you will look back and be like oh my god i have this decoration from this event it would be fun you know but i would not recommend you to get this giant please do not get it even if you're a decoration type of person because i spend money to buy extra of these of course medals to be able to buy more things but if you do not invest that money if you buy the giant then you would not be able to buy any of these two, for example, because that's just not how much, you know, medals you will get. You have to invest some money to buy the extra, of course, the statues and the obstacles. But 
what I will recommend you is to easily get the other two of these, like the cherry bonsai, with which the Japanese, I think, is the tree, and then the archer, of course, the statue, and then the moment you buy those, if you are, I'm saying, if you are into statues, you can then easily go ahead and purchase whichever ores you are needed. Now, there's a lot of people that may not even be maxed. This is where... You kind of forget about the statues and you go to the lower side and you buy, of course, the things that can help you max out. Something like books, something like potions, like the builder potion, one of the best things. And the book of heroes, one of the best things to upgrade your heroes and pets. You have book of building. You can easily buy one of them and keep it because you may not have the gold pass, for example, on this season. And you can easily buy the book of building, but that will help you process in your base layout it's all depending on your base layout guys okay so see what you are missing okay if you have the event pass you're a lot more freely to invest in whatever you want but those who don't as i said you have a very few options and limited options to choose from now what if you have the event pass but but your hero equipments are quite low, like your main equipments. You're still, for example, using, let's say, a dragon attack, and you're using the spiky ball, but your spiky ball is not upgraded and maxed. Well, guys, invest on the spiky ball. Get those medals, because this is a game-changing equipment for the back end of the base in any dragon spam attack. Even on any kind of spam, the pros already using this equipment rather than of course the you know rage vial with the gauntlet so this equipment really helps you out a lot same as the giant arrow you already watching how giant arrow can change a game's perspective with the way they take down the sweepers air defenses with a few zaps and of course earthquakes they take down a few areas of the base these are the type of equipments you need to be upgrading you know so invest your medals in all the ores you can get and of course because you already invest money on the game first buy the main ores which are the starry ore it's going to help you with the epic equipment and the glowy ore because you already probably have a lot of shiny ore we don't use shiny ore that much but the game gives us a lot of it i think it's not balanced the way they give starry ore and glowy ore to shiny ore it's just not balanced hopefully it will get fixed in the future but buy these two first and then see how much of those medals you have left that is when then for example you got 2000 medal left okay you finished everything you got 2000 medal so you go to the shop and you can easily just buy the three euros or dollars or whatever it's euros for me so you can buy the very cheapest one and then you can go ahead and buy the magic mirror this will be the best way to invest if you are spending money on the game you know that's what i'm telling you if you are spending money on the game already like buying offers buying skins sceneries you know left and right you got event pass you got the gold pass and this is kind of the best way to know how much you medals actually you need so you buy the main things and whatever is left until the magic mirror you get it and buy the magic mirror and do not forget you still got around a lot of medals in this back end of the bonus track so just go ahead and attack first okay you do all your attacks wait for this event there is no need to rush you know and then you will get all the medals you will have now Hopefully you guys enjoyed the way I explained on different aspects of player base because there is a lot and whoever is watching this video, you may be different than the person who's watching right next to you, you know, it's just different. So that's it and I really wish you guys get these medals and get those things that you actually need and not invest something because others have it. Simple as that, I can put it for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon in the next one. Take care and peace.